7.48 KNEB, time for today's News Extra program. It's brought to you by Java Funeral Home, and here is Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're going to talk about something we've been advertising quite a bit on the radio here in the last week or so, and that's this uh, Prairie Patchwork um, exhibit and uh, event that's coming up at the Midwest Theater this Sunday. And Devin Bowers is here to talk about uh, what's going on. This is a fundraiser for, first of all, this is a fundraiser this uh, this Sunday evening at the Midwest for Camp Scott. Let's, for those that maybe just moved into the community, let's discuss, first of all, what Camp Scott is. Camp Scott is actually the summer program for handicapped children. We serve um, 40 children every summer for five weeks, um, ages 7 to 21, who have um, special needs. They come in every summer and allows kids who have um, disabilities to um, be regular kids and to take part in what normal kids would uh, uh, participate in if they went to summer camp. Yeah, and it's really a tremendous program. I don't know how long Camp Scott's been going on, but a long, long time. Yes, um, I, I've been with the program. This is my 11th year. Um, I know that it's they trace it back for at least 20. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a, a huge program, and uh, they get funding from various sources. United Way is the biggest uh, yes, contributor, they are right? Biggest, yeah, they're our biggest um, su um, supporter, and um, we get lots of community support as well. We also um, uh, get lots of generous donations from uh, private sector, but we also do have to do lots of fundraising because, as we know, the cost of everything is going up. Yep, and that's where this comes in. That's where Prairie Patchwork exactly. comes in. So uh, explain what this is going to be all about. Again, it starts at 6 o'clock on Sunday at the Midwest Theater. Uh, for the last couple of years, we've had um, the Sweethearts and Carhartts have come to do um, shows for us. And while they're doing those shows, uh, we use that as a fundraising opportunity. Uh, this year, however, one of them is unable to attend, but they've created a new show for us called Prairie Patchwork. And it's um, two of the ladies from the original Sweethearts and Carhartts are coming. They're bringing 40 quilts with them um, that have lots of history, um, spanning 130 years of history. Uh, they do their, their poetry and their songs, lots of music. Um, a good time is had by all. Yeah, 40 quilts. And the gal's name is Yvonne Hollenbeck, is that right? Yes, Yvonne Hollenbeck is um, a poetry uh, writer. She has produced many books and lots of CDs. Uh, Jean Prescott is um, a musician who plays the guitar uh, and the two of them together, in including the other one that used to come with them, um, did lots of singing and uh, poetry for us and it was, it was very good. Yeah. So the Midwest Theater is the uh, location, the 40 quilts. Uh, you kind of span them out in the in the front area there and other areas of the theater and then of course Jean gets to use the wonderful Midwest Theater to to sing so it's a it's a great location for this right it is a perfect venue for this opportunity um, Billy works really hard with us to make sure that everything works out great the acoustics are wonderful it is just a good time yeah Midwest Theater a wonderful place to do these type of things now uh, it's absolutely free right it's free to the public anybody who wants to come we're taking um, good w uh, free will donations from anybody who wants to donate to our cause. All right. And hopefully uh, most people will or everybody will. We would love that, everybody that, to come out. Everybody to come out and, and, and donate some money, whatever you can, to uh, the Camp Scott folks. And uh, you also have some sponsors uh, as well here that are kind of helping you out with this. We do. Uh, Westco, Regional West Health Services, Horizon West Incorporated, Dr. Kurt Farenbrook and Prairie Pines Quilt Shop, as well as any K N E B and the Scottsville Star Herald. All right, and you've got some other people that are uh, big into this. Who all has been helping organize this? Uh, well, Billy, event. of course, and um, our Camp Scott uh, board members are really good at doing those kind of things. Uh, they're running. They're they are on the ground running. Even though we run from June and July, we run year round trying to get the donations that we need to um, do everything that we can. All right. So, uh, uh, if folks want to know more about this, they can call Billy over at the theater, or uh, they can call maybe uh, Rini Berry, possibly, that might yes. be the person. Rini, um, Rini is our Camp Scott board president, and her number is 436-7304 if you need to contact her, or you can contact myself at 
7537. Okay. Very good. Well, it sounds like a fun time on Sunday evening. And uh, again, it'll be absolutely free. The snow will be gone. We're hoping. The snow will be pretty much it'll have fallen. Hopefully there'll be lots of snow on the ground still, but the snow will have been have fallen, and so you should be able to get there without any problems. And uh, it should be a very good night. How long will it last? Probably till 9, 10 o'clock, something no, like that? No, it's not going to go that late. I would say we're probably out of there by 8, 8.30. Oh, okay. Um, they do a good job. They pack a lot of, of uh, laughs and and memories into a very short period of time. And we they invite all of our Camp Scott kids get to come, and, and um, we encourage them to come. So we don't want them up too late. All right. Once again, Prairie Patchwork. Over at the Midwest Theater starts at six o'clock this Sunday night. I hope uh, some of you can, hope a lot of you can get out there and participate in this. And Devin, I appreciate you coming by. Thank you.